Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got the remaining above ground treasures in the Wistful Wild after beating the Hole of Heroes. The Hole of Heroes. And in this episode, I actually forgot to show a boss treasure that we collected before. The Amplified Amplifier, because the Amplified Amplifier is very amplified. Okay, so the thing that we forgot to show, the Amplified Amplifier, where... There it is, okay. What do we got here? Today we searched a deep underground structure that was completely covered in tile. Well, not completely, there were some dirt areas. I have no idea what it was originally intended for, but we decided to call it the shower room. Deep within, I clashed with a sleek bug that coughed off this conical curiosity. And sales pitch. Your voice is weak, it does not carry. No one notices you. If this is true, then use this item for you. Starting today, you are the gym teacher. You will never be ignored again. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so, uh, what I should do here, though, is, uh, again, a lot of you guys have been requesting a few notes for me to show. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to each of those, just because it, you probably don't want to see me scrolling all around. And if you do, what the heck's wrong with you? A lot of you guys wanted to see what the, uh, American version's entry was for this thing, because in the Japanese version, Alamar refers to it as the ultimate drug and says he might even want to try it one day. Let's see what he says in the American version. The ship seems to think this leaf would be a smash hit among naturalist interior designers. I just think it looks and feels like a soft blanket. In the interest of scientific discovery, I'd better give it a test run. What about the sales pitch? And this is pretty boring compared to what the Japanese entry says. Next would be the Doomsday Apparatus. Perplexing mysteries, or wild mysteries because it was not found in the perplexing pool, are always solved in unexpected ways. When I was studying this item earlier today, I was astounded by its unbelievable bulk. It was so heavy, I would have never been able to move it without the burly, my burly purple Pikmin. Later analysis indicated that the thing is in fact some kind of heavy artillery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then lastly, you guys wanted Louie's notes on this thing uh, and another plant. Inedible, and yet strangely delicious. And then this. Inedible. Known effects include uncontrollable episodes of impromptu breakdancing. <laughs> oh my god. You guys picked the craziest things for me to show. Anyway, now that we're done with the Piclopedia, I did say we'd go back to the, to the perplexing pool, and we shall, because I always promise we're going to the perplexing pool, guys. We're going to the perplexing pool. We're going to the perplexing pool. We're going to the perplexing pool. We're going to finish it this time, guys. We're really going to finish it this time. Oh, we're really going to finish it this time. We're finally going to finish it today. No more screwing around. One of the two treasures we need is right freaking there. No excuses. We are going to get out as many blues as we can. Have them go with Olimar. We only have 36 blues now. I guess I did convert some of them, though, but still, I thought I had a lot more than that. They're all leaves? Dang. Okay. Uh, apparently, I have not been taking as good a care of my blues. Well, I did. To be fair, I did lose 10 of them yesterday. Thanks to that stupid... Well, not yesterday, but the last day we were here. Thanks to this stupid... Okay. Uh, we're going to get out all of our whites because they are the fastest at carrying things and we're going to be getting some uh, potions today out of the berry plants here and of course we want those to be carried back in a hurry so we're going to be getting our whites and we're going to be taking them over here with shut love saying that whoa hey guys just when I'm about to get into the first battle game just loves interrupting me as much as they can 140 Optical illustration. 100% natural, 100% natural, 100% natural, 100% natural, 100% natural. Alright, what do we got here? Come on, guys. Um, I'm actually playing with a different controller as if anybody cared. Um, I am playing using a... Wow! It ate a white and died. Okay, whatever. Sure, that's great. At least it died somehow. Uh, are you going to die too? You ate a white as well. Okay, fine. Whatever. And that we got that taken care of. Olimar, go ahead and carry these guys. What is that white doing? Apparently that white wanted to resurrect an old joke. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> we are going to be taking our blues and we're going to be going over by the submerged castle. Some of you guys have been going like, hey, wait a minute, Emil. What's there? Chugger? Or whatever it is you're going to call me. I don't know. In this, in this, in this year, you're going to actually call me by my real nickname, okay? Uh, anyway. 
Uh, wow, why am I losing? Like, every time we fought a Shearwig, I've lost one Pikmin in this video. I mean, having three deaths for a whole day, I can live with that, though, but... Really? Okay. And all of them are flowers. Very, very nice. So we're taking our 35 blues, and ooh, this could actually be a good opportunity to raise up some more blues. Uh, let's squish. Squish. Squash, squish, squash, and cool, it dropped a blue pellet. Drool, it dropped a blue pellet. Alright, uh. Can I carry these back, please? Thank you. Okay, very nice. Okay, so we got 26 blues in which to get the treasure with. Uh, I believe we're going to have to fight some Cromads, but that's going to be about it. We have the Skitter Leaf here, which is harmless, though, but I'm just going to kill it because I'm a jerk. And fine, we'll take its leaf back. I think the leaf gives a surprising amount of Pikmin. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, you'll see details on the screen how much it actually gives you, though. But I remember it giving more than I expected. And yet I didn't mention that until now. Great. Okay. So... We do indeed have Cromads to deal with. We have a big one and we got a little one. So, let's take out the big one first. Come on. Olimar Punch! Yeah! It's no presidential punch, but it'll do. Okay, take out the little one. If we don't take out this little one, we should be ashamed of ourselves though, because we're able to take out the big one, like, no problem in just one cycle of attacks. Yeah! Very nice. Okay. Uh, why not? We'll carry you back. Uh, actually, let's wait on that, because I don't know how much the treasure's going to be. Treasure's up there, if you could not see that with your own eyes. Water Dumple! Uh, it bit Olimar! <laughs> well, at least we got out without a death. Why are you guys going that way? of idiots are you? Well, then again, I guess there's only really one kind of idiot, though, but hey. I'm not one to judge. Um, I think we're actually going to need to bring the president over here to complete this puzzle, though, so I will be right back. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we want to wait down this. This is actually a double scale. In the game's programming, it's just a regular scale, just two of them. It's kind of weird, though, how they did it in the game's code, though, but that's how they did it. I uh, want to wait that down. We want to not be able to walk up a layer, apparently. Uh, President, I don't want you here. Okay, fine. President can... Dude! Stop being dumb. Why did they go to Olimar? What's so special about him? Olimar smells funny. Okay, there. Of Olimar alone. We'll have the President wait things down. And actually, I think we're going to need both captains for this. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> That's the whole reason I even brought the president over here in the first place. The heck am I doing? Okay. Put them over here. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. That'll work, I think. Or not. <laughs> this is just turning out great, isn't it? Uh, we'll have four, I guess. No! President! Stay there! Okay. You know what? We're just going to do it like this. God. I'm disoriented with myself. Okay. Rose him up. Okay, I rose that up, and now I'm going to have to raise this block up to raise up the president. I'm raising my very own president. And, okay, now I have to do this one. This reminds me of that puzzle from Paper Mario where, like, uh, you have to... What was it? Oh, yeah, it's in uh, Flower Fields where you have to uh, use Lack of Luster and hit the blocks. Ugh, oh, I hate that puzzle. Okay, wait, this one down. Come on. Go down there. And can I walk under that? No, I cannot. I really don't like this puzzle, and I've already wasted half of the day. Come on, we are going to freaking beat this today. I don't care. We are beating it. We're going until we beat it. Okay, four. President, get on there, so now nobody can take this victory over us. Nobody! And I mean nobody! Um, 
I can't throw them. Oh, I can. Okay. This is actually not bad. Okay. Of course, watch, I'll say that, and then something will happen that prevents me from getting it. Uh, how many does this need? 20? Yeah! I was actually right! And as you can see, that there's no water beyond there, even though there's water in here for some odd reason. Okay, so now that we're done with that, our blues are just going to carry back pellets and enemies and things like that. So the remaining blues are. And yeah, now we're going to take this up here and take a shortcut back over to... Wait for it... Epic strategy time! This is where the whites are. And there's a swooping stitch book here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like red potions are going to be much of a reality, but hey, we're going to get purple potions nonetheless. Massage girdle! Okay, well, it's pretty much the end of the day here, and look at our purple potions. We have way more purple potions than I would ever need for any playthrough of this game, and I'm not even that good. <laughs> so, yeah, we have way more purple potions than we're ever, ever going to need. So, I guess we did pretty well here. Uh, let's see how many yellows I have, though, because yellows are going to be really important. Okay, 59, yeah. I, I don't really need anything else. Um, I think I'm going to just kind of fool around and just carry back these corpses for the rest of the day. I'll just let them go to whoever. I really don't care. I don't really care. Uh, I don't really want to go for that. It would be nice to flower more of these guys, though, but that's kind of up in the air. And, ooh! Forgot about you, burgeoning spider wart. I don't know why I'm sounding seductive for such a disgusting name, and I don't know why I'm even talking like this, repeating all my vowels with an A-H in the middle. Okay, I'll stop that. All right, here we go. What are we going to do here? I Let me see how I'm doing on potions really quick. Uh, oh, if I could just get one berry, I can get a, I can get a potion. Come on. If I can just get one berry back, I get a potion. Come on. Come on, guys. I need at least one red potion. Um, to be fair, I probably am going to go to the Awakening Wood just to stock up on red potions uh, before we head off for the last area, though, because having zero is kind of not the best strategy in the world, if you can believe that. Because uh, for the last dungeon of this game, typically I like to have at least four, just to be on the safe side. And you will see why when we actually get to the last area of the game. The Dream Den. Alright, let's see here. Come on, guys. Don't make this... Okay, good. They're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. I know they're gonna make it. I believe. In love. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Alright, let's see what else we're gonna get here. Come on, guys! Let's go for an entire... Entire... An entire hall... And uh oh, oh no! There's two purple. Uh, no, there's two Pikmin with two berries inside of one another. That was kind of where I was like, uh oh, where am I missing some? Okay, so it looks like we're done here. Five, you suck, just like you did in the Valley of Repose. Four, something. Three is squiggly. Two is just a reused texture. One is the loneliest number, next to zero. Valley of, Valley of Repose. Perplexing Pool is totally done. I believe we lost three Pikmin today. Not bad. Papa, I'm going to prep school. Mom said if I don't study hard, I can't become a proper lady. Did I write a nice proper mail? Do tell, Papa. All Amar's daughter, who gave him the Libra that he had in the first game, just like how his son gave him the Sagittarius, even though those constellations would not be viewable from another planet because constellations are just a vantage point. Okay, so... 100% in Valley of Repose, 100% in Awakening Wood, 
100% perplexing pool, and just one dungeon remaining. Next time on Pikmin 2, I am going to be showing special things that are in the Awakening Wood, the Perplexing Pool, and the Wistful Wild on specific days that have yet to come. Um, also, off screen, I'm going to be going to the Awakening Wood to get a couple more red potions, though, so it'll be day 18 when uh, we resume this next episode. So, yeah. And then after that, we are off to the Wistful Wild to tackle the final dungeon of the game. See you guys then.